Yo, 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 this is KG from Top Prize Entertainment Podcast coming to you with a quick take. Um, I was sent this video and this guy was just pretty much, um, I'm not sure what his name is, but he was pretty much breaking down why a man should be doing 100% in a relationship. Now, I was looking through it and, you know, I get some of what he was saying, but I'm going to let y'all listen to it so y'all can decipher for yourself, and then I'm going to give my take on it. You should do 100. They say, no, I'm going to do 50. But I'm still 100% a provider. How is that possible? A man is 100% provider. When he's unable to provide 100%, the woman picks up the slack. Correct. Now, the woman is not just picking up his slack, but doing hers. So she's picking up the slack of a man. That's 50%. Right. Providing the woman 50 percent nurturing. So she's 50 percent provider, 50 percent nurturer. Who picks up the slack of the woman? The child. Now, the child is 50 percent a child and 50 percent a nurturer. Now, the child is nurturing the siblings. Man, 50 percent. Woman, 100 percent. Child, 100 percent. So a man that's going 50 percent with his woman is like a man's not even there because if that man left, the woman will still be 50 percent provider, 50 percent nurturer. The child will still be 50 percent child, 50 percent nurturer. The man is the only one comfortable in that equation. And that's why he says, no, yada, don't tell him the truth because I'm comfortable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get I get what he I get what he's trying to get to. But one thing it's like I hate is when somebody try to use like I try to be highly intellectual when explaining something to try to get their point across. You know, and he was kind of me personally, he was kind of all over the place. But the one thing I can say is people have the 100 percent, the 50 50. They have it misconstrued. And when you look at a relationship, a relationship is a partnership, no matter how you look at it. And personally, I feel it's a 50-50 regardless. No matter how you splice it, it's a 50-50. Whether he's paying the bills and she's taking care of the home, that's 50-50. If she, she's paying the bills, he take care of the home, that's 50 50 a relationship is 50 percent finances and the other 50 percent is home that's the logistics of it bills home 50 50 so if i'm paying 50 percent if i'm paying not 50 i'm paying if i'm paying all the bills that means my wife is a stay-at-home wife she's taking care of the home but if she's splitting the bills, then we're splitting the home. So on her on her off days, I'm taking care of the career, making sure when she come home, the house is functioning, the house is in order, she come home to peace. On my off days, when I come home, the house is functioning, the house is in order, I come home to peace. That's what a 50-50 relationship is, and that's what it is. People have 50-50 conscrewed. They think, oh, uh, oh, a woman paying half the bills, then she shouldn't be doing all this housework, which is true, which is true. Because if you want her to do everything, the laundry, you want her to cook, you want her to clean, you want her to have, you know what I'm saying, what a sexy lingerie and have it all nice and buttered up for you, ready to go hot like Little Caesars at night, then... You got to put in a little bit more effort. So if your woman is paying half the bills, then you have to take on half the workload. And if you, when people, when they get deep into it, they be like, oh, I'm doing, I'm doing this, I'm doing this, I'm doing this, I'm doing this, I'm doing this. Well, then if you're doing everything and paying half the bills, man or woman, at this point, man or woman, because there's a lot of men you know what I'm saying? Who's living off their woman. And there's a lot of women who's living off their man. But if you're taking care of half the bills and all the, all the work from home, all the, the, all the home workings, keeping it functioning, then you need to reevaluate your relationship. 
because now you're carrying a motherfucker versus y'all doing this together as a unit. A relationship is a partnership. No matter how you splice it, it's going to be 50-50. It will never be a 100%. It will never be. It's going to be a 50-50. It should never be a 75-25 or 40-60. If it's anything less than 50-50, then you have a problem in your relationship. Now, in this video, he was talking about, oh, yeah, so if that man leaves, she's doing 100%. And then the daughter, yeah, well, the child, he didn't say daughter. The child is also doing 100%. Well, then you have to you have to take a step back and look because at the end of the day, he's no longer a part of that household. He's no longer a part of that household. So then at that point, somebody has to do 100%. Somebody has to do it. If she don't have, you know, if she didn't, you know, jump into another relationship or if I didn't jump into another relationship. So... Yes, the self is now delegated to the kids, which is home. So if mom is taking care of the bills, of course, your kids has to take care of home. So now it's not even 100 percent, even in the aspect when the man leaves or when the woman leaves. And if there's children involved and they're old enough, you have to teach them, teach them those skills anyway. It's still a 50 50 split because if mom is a single mom and she's taking care of all the bills. Then the kid, when they come home, they do their homework and then boom, they take care of home. They make sure the dishes is clean. They make sure, you know, they sweep, mop and things like that. Those are life skills they have to learn anyway. Because when they get older and they get their own place, they're going to have to learn how to do that anyway. Now, if they get older to the point where they have a job and things like that, me personally, I don't, I wouldn't take money from my kids. But what I would do is I would have them pay me a certain amount out of each check and I would put it up for them for their future. So by the time they graduate high school, that money that they've been giving me those past couple years, they're able to work. I can give it right back to them. But at the end of the day, it still doesn't stop the you taking care of the home and things like that. That still doesn't stop. So. Like I said, I get where he was coming from, and I and I tried and I was deciphering, you know, he was pretty much all over the place, but I, I get some of his premise. But a relationship, regardless, is 50-50. You know, I'm always here to agree to disagree with anybody. You know, I'm not gonna argue with you. But the relationship is 50-50. How you no know, no matter how you splice it. 50% home, 50% finances. So if y'all both are splitting the finances, that means y'all both need to split the homes and it has to be unanimous. It has to be unanimous. If your man don't want to pick up a fucking dish and you paying half the goddamn bills, then like I said, you need to start reevaluating your relationship. If you a man, you paying all the bills and you come home and your crib is dirty, is dysfunctional? And you sitting in your car and you don't want to walk in this motherfucker because you know that your crib is dysfunctional and isn't and there's no peace in there, then you need to sit back and reevaluate your relationship. And that's what people don't understand with the whole 50-50. Y'all thinking that when we say 50-50, y'all think that oh, a woman's gonna come in and pay half the bills and, and, and do all the work. No, that's that's not what it means. 50-50 means we're splitting everything down the middle. Everything. Finances, home duties, everything is split right down the middle. I'm going to take care of this half. You take care of that half. If y'all are splitting the finance part. If y'all not splitting the finances and your wife is a stay-at-home mom, then you're taking care of those bills as long as she's taking care of home. If your husband is a stay-at-home husband and you're taking care of all the bills, when she come home, she better have a nice, clean crib. She better smell some pine saw when she walk in that crib. I better smell some pine saw when I walk in the crib. I don't want to hear nobody screaming, running, jumping, yelling, fighting. We need. I need function. I need order. Especially when I'm busting my ass and if I'm paying all the bills. If she busting her ass and she paying all the bills. That's what 50-50 mean. You split everything down the middle. And if down the middle means 
I'm taking care of all the finances, you're taking care of home, that's down the middle. If you're taking care of half the bills and taking care of half the home, down the middle. That's what a functioning partnership is and that's how it's supposed to be. And everybody don't look at it that way. That's just my take. Once again, I'm KG from Top Prize Entertainment Podcast.